to anyone who's read Dante's Inferno, there you go. That's what it says at the gates of hell. Abandon all hope ye who enter here. Actually, I am the way to the city of woe. I am the way to a forsaken people. I am the way to eternal sorrow. Sacred justice moved my architect. I was raised here by divine omnipotence, primordial love, and ultimate intellect. Only those elements time cannot wear were made before me, and beyond time I stand. Abandon all hope, ye who enter here. Damn right I can recite cite Shakespeare. I can't pronounce it, but I can recite Shakespeare. And this leads me to my first shout out. Blue East Coast. Blue East Coast. Hey, Blue East Coast. Wildwood, New Jersey. Dante's Inferno, now Dante's Dungeon, The Dark Ride. Yeah, this should look familiar. This should bring back some memories to Blue East Coast. First shout out of. Oh god, I'm not going to turn this into an hour long shout out. But Blue East Coast, this is an inside joke. I guess inside memory between you and I. And anyway, who am I? I'm, I'm me. Hi. I'm Pinhead. Minus the pins. Or. As my good buddy Random Nation, there's a second shout out of the video guy. Keep track of these shout outs. You know, Random Nation, the real man who supports his family, the real man who does truly explosive, creative things. 3.21 kilowatts! The wrecking ball and that. Uh, Random Nation, damn creative, real man, true friend. But as he informed me I look like Skeletor. Do I look like Skeletor? Oh shit, yes I do. I look like Skeletor. Thanks, Random. Mm. It's good when you don't have to dress up for Halloween. You can just go as yourself. But, now, we're gonna turn this around because y'all wanna see. Speaking of y'all, that sounds like Amy. So, Bomber Girl Amy. Another shout out, Bomb Girl Amy. Thank you for lighting the fire under my ass by making your Halloween video and inspiring me because I wasn't going to do anything today but sleep and be miserable. But when Amy made her Halloween video, putting me in my own category of bada boom explosiveness, I thought, you know what? I'm going to have fun. And I'm going to do this video. So thank you, Bomb Girl Amy, the Mother Teresa of YouTube, for inspiring me to do anything today. And actually I'm dedicating this video to the Laughing Lion. There I am again all over the fucking place. The Laughing Lion inspired me to do this weeks ago. I guess when he saw my dungeon here and a weightlifting video or something, he said, you know, you should do a video tour of your dungeon. And I said, that's a good idea, Laughing Lion. I'll make it a Halloween video. But I wasn't inspired because, you know, stress lately. Yeah. Some stress we've been going through. But Amy inspired me to do a video, and since Logan, the Laughing Lion, wanted to see this particular video, I'm dedicating this to the Laughing Lion channel. The Laughing Lion. A lion that laughs. Cheesy, but look where it's coming from. Laughing Lion, here's your video tour of my dungeon. Yep. Orange. Orange. Orange weight bench. Orange sweatshirt. Red sweatpants. Orange and red do not go well together, unless, of course, you're Puerto Rican. Bada boom. How you doing? Shout out to Mr. Noriega. Mr. Noriega. My papi Puerto Rica in the house. Um, I'm just failing miserably, but yeah, you know, it's Mr. Noriega's in Puerto Rico now? Survived the hurricane? Mr. Noriega, hi guy. Good to have you back full time on YouTube, buddy. Just stay away from all the drama. So, here we go. Let's see, where should we start? Dumbbells? Dumbbells, yeah. 
Remember that, remember that prank video I did for anti-YouTube? I'll get to him later. Saying, you know, I was sitting on that thing, and I'm quitting YouTube. Yeah, and then at the end of the video, I kicked that. That's a hundred pound dumbbell. That's right. It's a hundred pound dumbbell, a hundred pounds of iron to hit my foot. Let's see how strong Mr. Perfect is today. hundred pound dumbbell. Oh, okay. I guess I'm pretty strong today. My left testicle hurts, but you don't want to see weights, do you? Hmm. Let's see, everything here has a story. This is cool. I love that one. I should just... Maybe I'll make that the thumbnail. Hmm. We have history here. We yeah, have, well... This really isn't historic, but... Yeah, I've been buying shit for over 20 years. Day after Halloween when all this stuff is 50-75% off where it used to be. I would go and stock up on masks and stuff like this. Maybe I should wear this in one of my videos and put some bicycle lights on it. Nah. Hey, here's some nostalgia. Dog leash from my German Shepherd who died in 1979. <laughs> His choke chain. And here's the leash that was attached to it. The one time my father, my daddy, ever hit me was with this dog leash. He was walking the dog in front of our house and I apparently, I don't remember this, but he said, I'll give you something to look at while I'm talking. He said, I ran out in the street to get a frisbee and a car almost hit me. And he took this leash off the dog and he whipped my ass. I don't remember that. That's the only time he claimed that he ever hit me, but I don't even remember, remember that, so it must have been painful, because I've completely blocked it out of my mind. But no, I was not a victim of child abuse. But perhaps my parents should have been a little rougher on me. I would have turned out differently. No, this is not my troll stick, it's, it's a plastic sword. Could be used as a troll stick, but uh, there's too many trolls and it's made of cheap plastic, so, oh, wow, cool. Yeah. I've had, I've had some girlfriends in my life. Some of them got away. Some of them did not. Blue East Coast. Hint, hint. Yeah, I, I no longer have to. I don't. I mean, I, I don't have to. Not that I ever did, but I don't have to keep girlfriends under lock and key. I don't have to imprison them. I don't have to keep them enslaved. They come and they go as they please. I don't care. I'm the slave master. As you can see, we have a little bit of everything. These are all black light posters, by the way. All black light posters, and every mask is painted in detail with black light paint. And up there, we got the black lights that no longer work. So I can't show you the beauty of everything lit up in black light. That's a shame. But we have, yeah, cool posters. We've got, look at this, we've got. Warren Beatty, Madonna movie, Dick Tracy, 1990. Rowdy Roddy Piper, yes, we have wrestling posters. I, before anything, before I even started working out, I glued pictures of wrestlers on the wall. Most of them are dead now from steroids. I can't even take them off because you're, like I said, glued. Yeah, I could have decorated for Halloween, but to me, Halloween's a state of mind all year round. My very first weightlifting belt. You can't see it, but that's why I brought a flashlight, because it's dark down here, and I don't have a flash, and okay, no fucking flashlight don't work. Okay, trust me, it says bad to the bone. B -b 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 bad b -b 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 bad 
bad. Bad to the bone. My first belt. 1986 leather baby. That's when I knew I don't make weightlifting belts. You see, I popped all the holes because I got so strong and finally I kept popping all the holes doing deadlifting and squats and it finally disintegrated. Oops, I'm doing vertical. Oh shit, sorry about that. I hate people who do that. My very first weightlifting belt lasted 30 years. <laughs> 30 years how many of you how many of your parents were even born 30 years ago there's me in 1990 yeah check it out thank god you can't see it so I'm going to put a spotlight on it because I don't want you to see it tie dye ripped jeans shaky camera hair hat still have that tie-dye tank top by the way yeah check it out that's Mr. Perfect in 1990 yeah and my shoulders were bigger and this is Mr. Perfect now <laughs> bada boom how you doing Uh, up here, yeah, 1984, Hulk Hogan, brother, Rowdy Roddy Piper, oh yeah, anybody who's ever heard Rowdy Roddy Piper talk in his wrestling days will know I spent a lot of time listening to Rowdy Roddy Piper, uh-huh, YouTube him if you don't believe me, <laughs> and here we have former Minnesota governor, notorious infamous conspiracy theorist Jesse Ventura that's right Jesse Ventura in his wrestling days his steroid days I have a doll of a Minnesota governor ain't that cool Almost dead. Almost dead. Hey, there's, there's Governor Jesse again. There you go. Would you like to have a governor like that? 24 inch biceps, brother. Yeah. I love this clock. I loved it when it actually worked. I guess we need the flashlight again. Yeah, it's, it's been 25 after 6 for years now because it stopped working. But when it was working, yep, my Robin Williams clock no longer works. How you doing? It's 3D. It's a shame the black light doesn't work. It's a shame my fucking flashlight doesn't even work. Hey. Can I ax you a question? I, I gotta ax you something. Let me ax you something. I gotta ax you, God, people. I hate that. I hate when people do that. The mighty, mighty Led Zeppelin. <sighs> As I'm backing up into shit. Yeah, it sucks in the dark. Something about the scale of this always made me wonder. See, if you compare the height of the people to the mountain, it's not a very high mountaintop. I mean, you think you're like, you know, close to six feet tall. And if you, you judge, it's like the mountaintop is only like 30, 40 feet high. That's not like a mountaintop. They, they should have scaled down the people a little bit, or at least that's what my OCD brain says. 15 minutes so far, you know what? Judging by the attention span of people watching my videos, 
I think it's time to end it here and start another video. Love those attention spans. Part 2 coming right up. How you doing?